Hey guys, I'm Miss Optig, and today I'm going to take you through scientific notation. So when we're talking about scientific notation, what we're talking about is turning a number like 320 into something like 3.20 times 10 to the power of 2. So what we do is we have our 3... 120 and that's actually 320.0 so we're going to move this decimal place forwards so that we only have one whole number out the front and it's any number any single digit number other than zero so we go one two and we're going to move our decimal place to there but because we've moved our decimal place back two places we have to account for that in some way. So if we move our decimal place back once, we've divided something by 10. And if we move it backwards again, we divide it by 10 again, which means we've divided it by 100 overall. And this here, this 10 to the power of 2, when we multiply that out, so that equals 10 times 10. And 10 times 10 equals 100. So what this is telling us is that 3.20 times 100 equals 320, which it does. Now, if I have the number 9,421, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a decimal place and a zero on the end. And then I know that I want to get this decimal place all the way to here. But we've got to see how many jumps it's going to take us first. So we go one jump, two jumps, three jumps to get our decimal place to where we want it. And then what we say is our answer is 9421 times 10 to the power of 3 because remember it took us three jumps to get here now we can do this the other way as well what happens if we have a number say 0 0.0021 and we know that we want to get our decimal place to here in between the 2 and the 1 so we're going to count how many jumps that takes us. So we go one jump, two jumps, three jumps to get to where we want to go. So we're going to end up writing it as 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative three. So if we are jumping our decimal place to the right, we have this negative number up the top. If we're jumping our decimal places to the left, we have a positive number up the top. If I have the number 427,000, all right, and I want to turn that into some scientific notation. I want to get my decimal place from here to here. And that's going to go one jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, five. So we have 4.27 by 10 to the power of five, All right? Because that's how many jumps it took us. Now, if I have the number 0 0.0000000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 zero one two i want to get my decimal place in between here between this one and two so i'm gonna jump one two three four five six seven eight times so we have 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative eight remember it's negative because we've moved our decimal place to the right. So now it's your turn. 
I'm going to write out a couple of numbers and I want you to have a go at putting them into some scientific notation. So pause the video, have a go, and then press play when you're ready to work through the answers. So with this first one, we have a huge number. All that matters is we know that we have a decimal place here at the end and we want to get it between the seven and the one. So we're going to do some jumping. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our answer is going to be 7.1 times 10 to the power of nine. And remember, we've jumped to the left. So we have a positive power. Now with the second one, we've got our decimal place already in place for us. We want to get it between the one and the nine. So we're going to jump to the right. We're going to go one, two, three. So our answer is going to be 1.9 times 10 to the power of negative three. Because remember, we jumped to the right. And that is how we convert from basic numerals into scientific notation.